science stage of the history of the universe where things are rich and intricate and complex. We know there's a law of nature, the second law of thermodynamics, that says that disorderliness grows with time. Is there another law of nature that governs the complexity of what happens, that talks about multiple layers and structures and how they interact with each other? And, you know, embarrassingly enough, we don't even know how to define this problem yet. We don't know, like, the right quantitative description for complexity. The universe forms complexity out of the most simple geometrical shape, the sphere. All we need is spherical geometry to arise naturally in the universe, and we have this in Huygens' principle of 1670 that says, every point on a wavefront has the potential for a new spherical wave. An interior of a sphere is naturally three-dimensional, giving us our three-dimensional space of everyday life. In this theory, we have to square the radius because the process is relative to the spherical surface. This is why so many properties in physics are squared, like the speed of light, c squared, and the charge of the electron, e squared. This is because the two-dimensional surface forms a dynamic manifold for positive and negative charge, with the inner concave surface forming negative charge and the outer surface forming positive charge. Whenever our three-dimensional world changes, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. When objects touch, it is charge that makes contact, and we have the organization of charge relative to the membrane of each living cell within us. Everything is based on a geometrical process of energy exchange, formed by light photon energy continuously transforming potential energy into the kinetic energy of matter in the form of electrons. We have the potential energy of what might happen continuously changing into kinetic energy of what is actually happening. We have a continuous process. Spherical symmetry will continuously form and break and then form again. This process is relative to the energy and momentum of the atoms. Therefore, because we are made of atoms, it is relative to our actions. Just a change in environmental temperature forms diversity and complexity. The potential for infinite snowflake diversity can be based on the simple fact that there is an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere as long as it is continuously expanding or radiating out. When the spherical symmetry breaks, it has the potential to form the most beautiful geometrical shape in the form of the Fibonacci spiral, with the potential for ever more greater symmetry formation, forming the broken symmetry of cell life. This process also forms the potential for disorganization, forming greater degrees of freedom for what we call entropy in physics. This dynamic geometry even forms the potential for ever more abstract mathematics and can be seen as Ford circles. No one places the Ford circles in the mathematics. They are already there, representing the dynamic geometry that human mathematics is based upon.